The next stop is on the radar radio. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. Yeah. Yes, sir, baby. On the Radar Radio Country Edition, we are live from Nashville. Shout out our partners over at Monster, the one, the only Raina Roberts in the building. Welcome Hi. to the show. How you doing? How you feel? You got mad energy today. <laughs> Thank you. Are you always like this high energy? I must be because people say that all the time. So I, I think so. You know, they actually kind of like warned me about this. Before you came <laughs> they too, warned right? you? They're like, they're like, yo, Raina has like a lot of energy. And I was like, how much energy could she really have i i mean i don't know i feel like a superhero and a disney character all in one so i think it depends on how i'm feeling that day how do you feel today disney character that's why it's a lot of energy why did like why specifically a disney character today <laughs> oh, i have no idea probably it's just been a great day it's been a great and i'm thankful it's been a great couple weeks for you it's been a great life i'm happy i'm gr- thankful it's been a great life well i mean i obviously like today we're celebrating um you appearing on uh, the Cowboy Carter album on mm-hmm. Vibers. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Um, how have you been feeling about the reception? Like, how is it, like, from the announcement, mm-hmm. like, when it finally got announced, you knew you made the cut, mm-hmm. all that, like, what was, like, the initial, like, reaction that you had before even anybody else started calling and all the texts started coming in? <laughs> I was like, thank God. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Answer my prayers. I prayed, like, I don't know, I think maybe in January, I was like, God, can you please put me on a Beyonce song this year? Three months later. I'm not even kidding. That's a true story. Like, you I, really prayed for this back in January? Yeah. Like, okay. I literally did. I, I'm not even, like, making it up. I was like, here's some of my goals for 2024, and mm-hmm. I feel like these are things I can ha- make happen this year. Or I, not even me. God can make happen this year. And they've been happening. That's crazy. So, like, I mean, again, we're not violating no NDAs, but, like, between then and now, between <laughs> then and now is when all that got recorded and done. Um, I can't say nothing. Okay, you can't say that. All right. Nope. Well, the reaction when you posted it online, like, what was... The initial reaction from everybody when it got announced that you were on the song, especially with all mm-hmm. those other incredible um, women. Artists, yeah, it's so positive. People have been so encouraging and just mm-hmm. really kind and uplifting. Um, and I think most of the people, like pe- people who know me know that I love Beyonce. She's always been my biggest inspiration. Yeah. So I think people are really elated for me at the fact that I'm my first feature ever is with my favorite artist in the world. And people have just been hyping me up. And Oh, that's your really first awesome. feature ever. Yeah. Why, why, like, well, I mean, that's a pretty good first feature, I won't lie, but, like, why up until this point has there been, like, no features for you, whether it be with other people, on hmm. their songs, or your songs, too? Because I noticed that when I was checking out the project yeah. that you put out last year. I think it's, it's, I want to work with people who are, um, who I've looked up to my whole life, so my goal is to create art with, like, Chris Stapleton, Beyonce, Drake, uh, Megan Thee Stallion, Sia, right. people who, Lady Gaga, people who I've, um looked up to drake and so i want to work with those artists so i'm not gonna probably well i don't want to say what i'm not gonna do but i want to get those features before going outside of that right because i feel like now is like now that there's like uh there's a lot of attention on like all the incredible black country artists who are on beyonce's album too (laughs) right then now it's it's gonna kind of get to that point where it's like okay when are all that everybody Mm -hmm. i know certain people have songs together already but it's gonna be like okay now we want to see you with this person or you right. with Shabuzi or you know so on and so forth yeah because now it's become a more like open space and it's more well it's always been there but now it's like more people mainstream people under, see, see it, now it more, more. Yeah, 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 yeah definitely yeah. and the thing is as long as i've been here i've been telling people like hey i want to do a song with beyonce and i mean everybody does but in yeah. terms of like what i see for my art and my vision um and how i want my art to be created mm-hmm. i'm like i want to work with these artists in particular and a lot of people are like, oh, well, you know, those are good goals to have. And I get it, but I have always had a big vision for things. Like, I, I plan to one day perform at the Super Bowl. And so my vision is a lot bigger than um, what other people see for me. And so, yeah. I mean, I, in all fairness, we I've been there before. I understand. I, I used to say <laughs> I wanted to do Drake on On the Radar, and yeah. know, and it happened. You know what I'm saying? So it definitely, it definitely like, speaking it out and putting it out into the universe yep. is not, like, a bad thing nah, I'm to like, happen at all. It's, like, hard work, praying. Me, And it's not just me. It's me and my team. It's my family and my friends who've supported me. Right. And, you know, we're just... We're we're thankful that these things are happening, but we put in put in a lot a lot of hard work. So it's not just saying it, but putting action behind the words, and um, also just believe in myself. I know who I am, and I know my purpose and what I was made to do. Right. It's it's funny because like even when we were on the way here, like some of the boys were telling me how like Tina Knowles has posted you like a lot on her story too. Yeah, I love um, it. 
like even like to that you know what is it like even like because i think like the beyonce cosign is like in one thing but then the yep. miss tina cosign is something completely she's, different too. she's the one who created the legend yeah it's so funny because my mom is so excited my mom was like i want to meet them one day i'm like we definitely will um and i'm just yeah i'm grateful that they're they're putting my voice on their platform especially because yeah. they don't you know they don't have to do that and it's it's an honor to be even included in in her story and her project and everything that she's doing right and it, it this is such like a beautiful time because i had mentioned like i did this interview not too long ago with the kentucky gentleman mm -hmm. um uh, uh a brother a brother uh black country duo out of Kentucky. Mm -hmm. um, and something that we were talking about, and this was before all the Beyonce stuff really like happened. Yeah. It was just like announced. We're like, you know, we were talking about how like the, the space for black country artists has always been there, mm -hmm. but it hasn't been as acknowledged or as fully accepted by, in the genre because of, you know, like traditional standards and whatnot. And then now yeah. like it's becoming a more open space. Right. But Beyonce did obviously put up the light on all of you guys, which, mm -hmm. which is beautiful. For you being, you know, a female black country artist, what have been some of the obstacles that you have had to overcome mm -hmm. being in this space? You know, honestly, in some areas that I didn't expect, like my red hair, people be like, you don't want to change your hair? I'm like, what? Why are they mad at the red hair? I'm like, that's so random. <laughs> I thought it was so random because, you know, you go to like California, you go to, I don't know, probably like Atlanta and like people don't think twice about it. You see people with like, you know, different color hair and all stuff all the time. Mm -hmm. um, that and then the clothes I wear, this is a lot more tame than what I was wearing before. Mm -hmm. I love to wear things that are like see-through and like that are... Um, I don't know, that stick to me, that cling to my body. And people were like, well, that's not traditionally country and all this other stuff. And I'm like, I don't care if it's country, it's me or my version of country. Mm. Um, and then just like everything, everything is like, feels twice as hard, three times as hard. I will acknowledge that I've had so many positive people and so right. many champions in my corner that's why like my first performance ever was with luke Holmes, like um with another artist with luke, was damn i can't talk one more time my first time performing with another artist was um luke combs on mm -hmm. cmt for charlie pride we did a tribute for him and Fine. my first best uh damn i can't talk today my my first festival was stagecoach and like these are like mm. you know big big, big moments, things yeah. for for in country music and so i've had people um that have championed me to help me do those things on the other hand i'm like how can i have done all these things um but i'm not always played on you know on country radio or i'm not performing at you know specific award shows right um or in matter of fact i was telling this story to somebody else like britney spencer who's my friend and she's yeah. on she's on blackbird also and um i didn't have an invitation for the acm awards but she was going and she was like hey i'm gonna be on the red carpet i'll bring you with me come with me because this is the opportunity that, that we can both share and yeah. that's how we are like we love each other we're here for each other and um and I feel like that's the biggest thing in, in spaces where I haven't had opportunities, equal opportunities. Mm. My best friends are there to lift me up. That's yeah. why, like, Mickey Guyton's there for me. Brittany Spencer is there for me and so many other people in the space. Because mm. um, we're like, damn, we just going to have to do it ourselves. Right. Which is obviously you see it happening now, too. You see, like, it mm -hmm. kind of becomes it's, it's very interesting of a time, too, because I, I just had my uh, my friend Anella Harim here earlier. Mm -hmm. Um, and he he was like the first on the radar country artist, well country artist that we had on the show. Yeah. And he's uh he's this white uh white artist from North Carolina, but mm -hmm. he also does make country music. And it was so interesting, like the response that his video got. Yeah. Because a lot of it was a lot of uh black YouTube creators responded yeah. to it, watching these videos, like yo, country music isn't that bad. And like you know, <laughs> and like and then like now even after this album, yeah, it's like the same thing. It's like mm -hmm. oh wait, this isn't. What we thought, well, we it, thought was. it was, yeah. but I think it's also cool because like what you guys are doing with you, Brittany Spencer, uh, Tanner, uh, Shabuzi, the list goes Willie, on and on and on. Yeah. Willie, like it's kind of like you guys are re reinventing what it means to be in this space, and mm -hmm. also kind of like you know it, it reminds me, you know, because you know I come from like the hip hop background, yeah. But it reminds me of like whenever you see like a new piece of hip hop emerge, mm -hmm. right? Like you think of like when Little Uzi first came out, and he mm -hmm. just kind of brought him and Yachty brought this whole new swag to the genre mm -hmm. that was like very polarizing yeah but then you know you look now like eight years later you look at what they've accomplished so mm -hmm. i it kind of reminds me of that it's like it's cool because it's like you guys are kicking down doors and like i think a lot of young artists and a lot of young kids who are like watching from the outside and they're gonna see you and that's gonna inspire like a whole other generation of artists that too. is my whole goal i feel like you know i want to create music that outlives me and that's legendary because i want to create like greatness and i want to be able to inspire other artists like the way beyonce has inspired me right. and um 
Yeah, I mean, that's the whole that's the whole reason why we're doing it. What is like how far back? Because, you know, you talked about how Brittany wanted to bring you out on, on, on the carpet with her. Like, what is mm-hmm. like how far back does that relationship go to? Um, I think t- th- three years. OK, two to three years. I want to say three. Mm. Yeah. Well, I want to say we've been friends for three years. I can't remember how we met. I think we were doing an interview together, actually. Um, and then we just from that day on, we were friends. We were like, hey, are we doing sleepovers? What are we doing? Like, and we just yeah, we just became best friends. Because then that would be like someone who I was like, I'm surprised that you haven't done nothing in that respect with her. I mean, aside mm-hmm. from the, the, the Blackbirds record. of course. Right. I think the other thing is, too, is I love her music. I love what she creates. Mm-hmm. But I would say that our, our sounds are very different. Yeah. Um, and that's another thing about, you know, a lot of black country artists specifically in Nashville, our sounds are so completely different. Yeah. Um, and that's, you know, I think that's kind of why we haven't done any song. Wait, you know what? She- we haven't done a feature together other than Blackbird, but she actually is in my song, Louisiana. Okay. So, I mean, I, I know that probably doesn't count, but it counts in my it heart. Kinda, I feel like it, it kind of counts. Kinda in my counts. Heart. But, even, but even with you, it's interesting because like, you put out this project, right? Like, mm-hmm. late, uh, like late last year, right? Yeah. And there's no music up until blackbirds right? right yeah so like again that's really cool on the manifestation tip because it's like okay january you said this, but what was what has been going on in this space of time before blackbirds came out mm-hmm. where you haven't been i guess releasing music in that in that sense it's uh since the project I've been writing so many things i mean i've also been doing like a lot of i've been doing like shows and, and interviews and stuff um for my album but i've also been writing non-stop okay <laughs> i have so many songs and i can't wait for people to hear like bad girl bible volume two so, like, what is, like, when you say bad girl Bible, like, what are, like, some of, like, you know how, like, people read the Bible, they'll be like, okay, this is, like, these are, like, the things from the, what are some of, like, the rules of, like, the bad girl Bi- uh, Bible? <laughs> I love that question. What are the rules? Uh, um, be unapologetically yourself. Mm. Um, I feel like, I don't know, my my goal is always for people to feel empowered mm. in whatever they're doing. Um, but bad girl Bible for me is honestly outside of the rules because i don't know the answer to that question yet right. but i will say that um the journey is like through my salvation and in, in living a certain kind of mm-hmm. lifestyle and then changing um throughout that journey mm. most of it is fictional though to be honest most of it's why is it okay that's fine <laughs> <laughs> you're not living your raps it's okay it's okay your answer was so funny. <laughs> You're not living your ass. It's okay. It's okay. No, not at all. I tell people that. I say it straight up. Like, half of it is about my life, definitely. Mm. But I'm a storyteller. That's right. what I love about creating music is I'm creating these mini stories. And so some of the things in my album I lived and then half of it, though, no, I ain't lived that. I've never been on the run. Like my song, Miranda. <laughs> I No, I don't get in trouble. I stay home. Which, you, which it was funny because like you in very casual passing in the back. You were like, yeah, I was talking to Timlin, and Timlin was like, do I go out? And you're like, no, I stay home. I'm like, why does she just like walk past us and say that and just not acknowledge what just happened? Well, I don't know. I just be saying that I don't know. <laughs> Cause y'all, somebody asked me if I go out, and I was like, somebody asked me that earlier, and I was like, okay, yeah, I was talking to Timlin, and he had said, do I go out? Which well, shout out not to like that. Yeah, you no, know, I, I love his music and everything yeah. that he does, um, but. Him and then somebody else earlier today was like, oh, do you go out? Like, how do you go celebrate? I think that was what it was. People were like, how are you celebrating this win? And I'm like, watching Star Wars? I don't go out. Right. I, res- I respect. But it's but with Timbaland, what's, what I like that he's been doing a lot lately is like, mm-hmm. he's really been tapping in with a lot of young, like, female artists. Like, um, mm-hmm. he tapped in with this other artist who we recently had on On The Radar. What is like, what is the relationship with you and Timbo? Oh, he just, he's uh... Just- just reach out yeah just reach out like i've been work so i've been um reached out with a lot of a lot of different producers like um talking to take Heath, talking to, oh, to jay yeah, white yeah. white and producers that i've been like in awe of and and i'm in love with their music and yes yeah, like people have been reaching out to work together which has been such a blessing and i'm like when we get in the studio what are we gonna create right because i'm interested to hear like what like a timbaland and, or like a take heat like Mm-hmm. country-esque record like really sounds like for real. I think the thing is is like my goal is to create random music mm. um, or I call it country plus which is country country plus I like that which is country but yeah. it's like it, there's trap in it there's there's rock in it there's mm. pop in it there's like all these influences that I've grown up listening to and that I can write mm. um, and it's like the most authentic version of me and honestly, even if it wasn't a country song, even if it's something else and we like pitch it to somebody, I just want to create great music yeah. in general, um, whether I record it or, or not. And also to be clear, because I feel like I've, I've been saying this in interviews lately and when I'm talking to people, like when people look at me and they're like, oh, you're a country artist. Yes, I'm a country artist, but my goal has always been to be a 
superstar, not a country star, mm, if that I makes like sense. That. Like, yeah. I want to create music that's great no matter what genre I'm in. I'm doing what I love, and I'm doing what's authentic to me, mm. but I'm just following the art, and maybe the art will change, maybe it won't. Yeah, I, I brought it up in my interview earlier with Anella where we uh, we spoke about, like, the interlude or one of the skits on, on Beyonce's album where, mm-hmm. um, you know, the, the oh, yeah. genres are like a construct. They or I forgot are. the exact I forgot the exact wording of it, mm-hmm. but it felt very, like, you know, it felt felt very prevalent, especially with a lot of the artists that we're doing here. Because, yep. like, while we are doing a lot of country artists, and it is country, mm-hmm. um, they also do, like, other things, too. You right. Know? Yeah. I mean, like, the thing is, I can, I can, I want to say that I think I can sing probably almost any genre, mm-hmm. um, but I'm just going wherever the music takes me. And I, right now I'm doing Country Plus. Country and Plus. Yeah, right now I'm doing country. Is I either call it Country Plus or Outlaw Country. Outlaw. Outlaw. Oh, Outlaw Country. Yeah, like I'm the princess of Outlaw Country. Okay, I like that. I, I like, like it that. too. When we get in Volume 2, though, is Volume 2 coming this year? Like, are you in that space or? I can't say nothing. Okay. Soon, but we will get some new solo music soon. Yes. Okay, word. You know, your background <laughs> is super interesting to me too because you were Thank born you. in Alaska. Yes, right? I was. Which is like, where in Alaska, like... I know people live in Alaska. Like I've had like like family members of family members live in Alaska, but I've never actually like met someone who was born in Alaska. My parents are veterans. That's okay. why. So there's a military base there. I was born in Anchorage, and I was there until I was about four years old, and then we moved to Alabama, and then California, and then here, and then here, yeah. And then here. I've been here for like five years. So you Nashville. moved here like right before the pandemic. I like literally like two weeks before the pandemic, actually. <laughs> And then it was crazy because that was the moment like my career actually became a career, like yeah. my music um, became like reality and it wasn't just a dream anymore. And all the interviews I was doing like <laughs> were like all through Zoom and I hadn't had any like in-person interviews or mm. any anything. Yeah, so, no, because yeah. I was actually watching like a few clips of like the Zoom interviews. And then I was remembering like I had like I was watching it uh-huh. and then I was having PTSD because then I remember when I was doing the Zoom interviews and I was like, why? Like, like, when, like, when are we going to be back in person? Right. And honestly, I'm I always get so nervous to speak to anytime I do interviews. I'm like, oh, I got to actually talk now. Hmm. No, but you're good at it. Thank you. I appreciate you're it. They're it. making it a lot easier than. <laughs> yeah. OK, well, we just going to move on from that. That was that was crazy. But we're going to move on from that. But it's but you're also, you know, I, I actually just found out also that you're also Mexican, too. Right. Well, my What's pa- your background. So my parents, uh, my father, who's raised me, is Mexican. OK. Not biologically Mexican, but okay, I am you. in my heart and in my soul. That's beautiful. I like that. Yeah. I like so, that. Like, I mean, if we're talking about my family and the family that's mm. raised me, um, black, Mexican, white. Um, oh, yeah, a little bit. Biologically, I think, I, I think I'm think i black, Native American, and white, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, you did like the, the ancestry <laughs> yeah. test? Or yes. 23 and me? I did. It's okay. I did that too. You did? I found out what I was like, you? it was like, well, I'm Puerto Rican, so that means like, it was like Native American, so that's like mm-hmm. Taino, and then it was European, and then I actually found out I'm like 1% Irish. <laughs> Just one. Just one. Just I get like 100%. a little. I get like a little red hair in my beard every now and then. And I'm like, oh, this all of a sudden now this all makes sense. We could be matching. We could. We could. But okay, so we got volume two on the way. Oh, yeah. also, your pops is in the back. He told us something, yeah. something really cool that I what never personally knew about you. Right? That you actually had like toured with uh, Reba. Yeah, I did. So and and he was and well, what I found out so beautiful about the story he was telling us while you were serenading us on the <laughs> piano over here was that he was telling us how. Reba would actually come out of her dressing room yeah. to come and check in on you yeah. every single day. It was it was really, she's such a sweetheart. I, the first thing I told her, I was like, you look so good, I want to throw money on you. But <laughs> Why like, is that the first thing? I, I did. Kid, that's she the first thing great. you said to her? Yeah. Oh, oh, I, I mean, God. I probably said thank you. Like, you look so beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I probably said someone, <laughs> I probably said something like, you look so beautiful, you look so good, I want to throw money on you. I probably said it like that. That's the first thing you said to her. Yeah. But how many how many shows did you end up doing with her? Um, three okay. in total. It was a it was a the awesome thing was she was bringing out um black country artists specifically like I know she brought out me Brittany I can't remember who else she brought out okay, but shout um out Reba, man. yeah like she was championing us early on yeah. which is fantastic um and I just want to say side note the whole money on you thing I mean the song is called fancy. I understand. I'm hey, look. I'm not mad at it. I'm just. I'm just saying. The first thing that you said to her is <laughs> yeah. kind of crazy. 
<laughs> and then he was also was about to tour you out with Jamie Johnson as well. Yeah, it, that was so awesome too. Jamie is wild. He's he is such a great person, great human being. Um, and that was really awesome to see just the demographic mm-hmm. and the way that people respond to me and receive me in these different spaces. Like Jamie Johnson and Reba, I yeah. know that their um, demographic is a lot more. It's like traditional country music. Yeah. And so I was like, okay, we'll see how people respond to me and people saw themselves in me and they loved me. So I was really grateful for that. You've already like checked off so many boxes of like what a lot of people would have hoped to accomplish by this point in their career. And like you said that in January, you know, you manifested the, the Beyonce track and whatnot. For yeah. the rest of this year, like what is kind of like, if you took what you did in January yep. and you were talking about the rest of the year from what is April 3rd mm-hmm. to December 31st of this mm-hmm. year, right? Like, what are like what are some of those, like, list items that you want to accomplish or you want to hit by the end of this year? Yeah, definitely. I want to have number one on the radio. I want to okay, do a like song that. with Chris Stapleton, Chris with Megan Thee Stallion. Um, I definitely want to go on a, a huge tour. Hopefully, nice. Megan or Beyonce or Morgan Wallen or Chris Stapleton. Um, Keep throwing names out there. Yeah, okay, Drake. More, dark, uh, more darts uh, who else, the board. Who else do we want to say? Um... And I want to also perform at the award shows and not just nice, like the yeah. ACM awards and CMT and CMA awards, but um, Grammys, iHeartRadio, Billboard, etc. I want to take it all. That's fire. Yeah. Well, hopefully people will come back to this interview and we'll get to cross some of them off. It's going to happen. It's going Watch, to happen. We're going we're gonna to look at this in December and be like, damn. Yeah, like, damn, she did a lot. Yeah. Well, volume two on the way. Some new singles on the way. Yes, sir. Um, what else you got cooking up for the rest of the year that people got to know about before we get out of here? Ooh. That's a great question. I feel like it's a lot of stuff that I'm not able to disclose yet, yet. Okay. but people are going to be surprised and I think they're going to be really excited about all the things that are happening in my life and in my career. Fire. Well, that's beautiful. Congratulations <laughs> on everything. Thank you. Um, Blackbird's out now. Go stream that. Volume 1. And Tyrant. Um, and Tyrant. Go stream all those, right? Uh, let the people know where they can follow you or anything else. We want the fans know now's the time to do it. This camera, well, it's one camera. This camera right here. <laughs> Um, yeah, my name is Raina Roberts. I'm a country plus artist, rising superstar in the making. Yeah. Um, my I like socials, that. I like that. <laughs> thank you. My socials are the Raina Roberts, T H E R E Y N A Roberts on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all the things. Now, there you have it. Well, look, make sure you go check out everything she has out now. Uh, go run up her performance here on On the Radar. Um, go show her some love. Go show her some support. Love is free. Support is free. But child, Raina, that's the next time on the radar. Raina Roberts, we in the building. Bow. Thank you.